This is a demonstration of a superconductor. 20 years or so ago, conductor, superconductors were discovered that were high enough, at high enough temperatures that you could demonstrate superconductivity at temperatures associated with liquid nitrogen. So what I have here is an yttrium barium copper oxide superconductor, this cylinder here. That's it. And I'm, it, is, it is not a superconductor at room temperature. And I can demonstrate that by placing this magnet on top of it and it just rests on top of it. What we're going to do is to cool it down to below its critical temperature for superconductivity using this liquid nitrogen. When that happens, the superconductors expel all magnetic fields from their interiors by generating currents around the outside of the superconductors. And so what happens when you put a magnet, such as this cube-shaped magnet, on top of it is that the magnetic field of this magnet is expelled by the superconductor and the magnet rests on essentially on a bed of magnetic fields and it will levitate on top of the superconductor. Okay, we're, we're allowing this guy to, uh, to cool down. I think I'm going to pour off a little bit of this liquid nitrogen so that we can see the top surface of the, of the superconductor. That'll do real good to the equipment here. So let's see how close we are to superconductivity uh, temperatures. Okay, so now what I think you can see is that this, uh, this magnet is balanced, levitated, in the vicinity of the superconductor. And the magnetic field produced by the magnet is trying to penetrate the superconductor and the superconductor is expelling those fields causing um, an upward force on the magnet. That's superconductors. These uh, superconductors um, can at, when, when they're at below their critical temperature for superconductivity can carry a current for years without any degradation to the current, zero resistance. So they're very, very fascinating objects and very important to lots of applications. Let's see if I can, this one's just fun to play with. I think it's obvious now that the magnetic field direction is, is in this direction of the magnet. 